another actor director turned director mel gibson the man without a face now this was his first effort and i think he made a good choice in doing a little film to start with yep what was it like working with mel as a director mel, mel was quite good as a director he he was very involved with uh, what was uh, going on at the time um, of course he starred as well mel gibson he was also acting in the film yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, and you know a rather major lead uh, it, it, it was good. I mean, it, 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 he he was, um, you know, when when a, when a director's acting, um, there is a, a slightly bigger responsibility thrown to the director of photography and the first assistant director. Mm. We we both have to just get a little tighter without looking like we're doing. <laughs> so uh, usually the director's going to be sitting back these days in the video village. You're looking at the monitor. Yeah. Behind the camera somewhere yep, watching yep. the shot. Yeah. That can't happen because they're in front no, of the camera. No, no, so, no, no. Um, if Mel, for example, is trusting you a lot to make sure it's looking the way oh, he yeah, wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yes, and um, yeah. And even the playback facilities in those days when that was pretty hmm. blurry. Old. <laughs> you could get the get the basic outline, but not much else. But yeah, no, it it was um, it was a wonderful place to shoot in Maine. I really enjoyed working in that state and uh, I remember we, we we had quite a quite an interesting diverse crew and uh, it, uh, it 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 was quite a wonderful experience and that was it's a nice little film but again he went on to do big things as a director yep. he, could, did you see at that point you know the quality of his directorial approach that he was he could go on to do bigger things yeah 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 no he he's he's got he really uh, he he really was um, had had the ability to visualise and, and structure. Yeah, no, he, <coughs> he he was he was the real thing as far as a director goes, and an actor, right. <laughs> and uh, a well, few other things. <laughs> uh, well, jumping forward a few, um, I'm going to skip a few titles here. I mean, there's Time Machine, there's Anger Management, but I want to talk about uh, working with Baz Luhrmann, and we've got um, Moulin Rouge, Romeo and Juliet right. to start with, and then Moulin Rouge. Yeah. What was it like working with Baz? It was a wonderful experience, both of those. Um, the first one was probably, um, the, in retrospect, the, the more enjoyable experience. Oh, well, they're both great fun. Uh, it, the, the first one was, was far more intimate. Uh, it was a relatively low budget thing. We were shooting it um, in uh, uh, Mexico and um, and we were very uh, close knit little group because we we had to be, and um, it was a relatively low budget. Mm. Uh, so it, it, it and to me it's probably at one level the most successful film I've ever worked on. Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Uh, in in that, um, I've seen it with I saw it when it opened in some little big cinema in Canama, Cal Calgary. And I was working there on another film. And um, audience packed with teenage kids. And the noise was horrendous <laughs> when, the, when the credits came up and I thought it was gonna be a disaster. And I just shut up and listened. You know, they, they really did enjoy the, the film. Well, it suddenly made Shakespeare relevant to a young audience again. It, it did, it did. Yeah, and Leonardo was DiCaprio was <coughs> a big reason for that. But then, this is the second Shakespeare film you'd done. You seem to have a thing for Shakespeare. Well, uh, Tempest was, you know, very, very. Uh, uh, when you see it, 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 it's, it's, it borrows some themes from Tempest. Very contemporary story. No Shakespeare and dialogue. Oh, okay. No, no, no. No direct reference it's to it. It's based on to, rather than being a direct. Uh, well, it's not even based on it's, 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 <laughs> a, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's an old man with a daughter. Right. Moulin <laughs> Rouge, though, this is a much bigger film than Romeo and Juliet. A gig a gigantic. This is Baz going all out. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, uh, um, I th it, 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 that was a, ma a massive fun, technically. Um, shot uh, mostly at Fox Studios in Sydney? Entirely. Entirely. Yeah. There's one shot. We, we did outside the studios, but that's seen through a window in the studio. So it's just, we did one background shot for that whole film that wasn't right. in, 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 so in Fox Studios. 
at Fox Studios. Fox, Fox, yeah. So and what was it like with <coughs> Nicole Kidman, for example? She was wonderful. I mean, uh, she's always nervous about you know um, the role and I guess her looks, but um, was never for me never a, ever a problem. I've got a full understanding of um, you know the, the the pressures that really are on a person at, at that that point in their career. And we're doing a musical this time. It's a big budget musical. How does that affect you as a cinematographer dealing with the, all this playback and musical numbers? Um, of course, it, to hear a number sometimes for three weeks, all day, it really, re I mean, it, it, that's, that was uh, horrendous. <laughs> um, I mean, it was all fun, but it, it really was a massive work. How long did it take, for example, to do some of the, the bigger dance numbers of that? Just to shoot three a three-minute sequence? Three weeks. Three, three weeks, weeks, yeah. We just kept rearranging the cameras. We do a bra we do a section and <coughs> shoot it from with four cameras from ten different angles, and then uh, uh, move on and find another four and find <laughs> another four. Uh, it, it was en endless uh, uh, coverage, and um, it um, you know, gave Jill Billcock the footage to make a, a, a very wonderful film. Plenty to choose from. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I've, I've actually worked on that two years. One year I worked on basic pre-production and the rest of it uh, was b shooting, not continuously, but it was over a year, mm. almost continuously. 